here we are driving down Route 30, I believe, and there's a sign for that beacon that we often see in the night. Uh, however, it's not nighttime. But nonetheless, a beacon in the form of a blue food exit sign right. with the word sheets. Gracefully backdropped in red yes. with the white lettering. Perhaps we should stop for lunch. Absolutely. So here we come up on the sheets and look right across the street from it is a Turkey Hill as we just stopped at uh, in our last pit Avenue. stop. Uh, great corner for paranormal pit stops with a Turkey Hill. Get whatever ice cream you want uh, after getting some of the amazing popcorn chicken that is served up by Sheets. So uh, we're going to stop in over here and see what they have. And the backdrop for this Sheets is a lot of farmland. Uh, beautiful fields of perhaps corn um, or some kind of crop that local farmers are growing. <laughs> and, uh, half a mile. Look at this. Right Wind big. Here's a Turkey Hill sign. And uh, roadside produce. How cool is that? And an illegal left turn. Bring us the sheets. Let's go see what they Proceed have. To the room. As if we don't already know, right? Okay. All right. So we got some outdoor seating here, yes. which we love. As we talked about before, there's nothing better than eating out while you're out. Right. Side. A little hot for that today, though. So a little hot. Much. Heat index mornings come out of Virginia up here, and what does it do? Whoa, we got a double entrance here. I know. Wow. Double entrance sheets. Oh, man. Look at this place. That's pretty cool. A little bigger than the ones down there in Virginia. Maybe. They definitely are. Than yeah. some of them anyway, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely. And here we got some kind of magical sign combining Batman, Superman, and Dr. Pepper. Whoa. How cool is that? Good. Hot diggity. Jalapeno dogs. Yes. Ooh, Johnsonville brats. New for a limited time. Look at that. It's like amazing there. Shorts MPO, which stands for made to order. Right. Now, what kind of selections are you looking at here on the screen? Um, they've got quite a selection. As a matter of fact, they've got yes, lots they of burgers. If you hit the burgers, look at this thing. Pretzel mm -hmm. roll. Yeah. Twisted Swiss. Coleslaw. Swiss. Now, I had the opportunity to try that Big Mama's. Um, That's right. <clears throat> when we were out for one of our investigations. Yeah. I gotta say, that was that was really good. Yes. Uh, I believe we did that. Put that in the video. So, so this is the chicken? Yep, the chicken what? selection. Grilled home style spicy. That's the style. Looks like a Big Ma's chicken. Yep. Look at that. Man. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. I know. I don't know what to choose. Me neither. Maybe the popcorn chicken. Maybe. I mean, that's, you know, that's something we know is good. There's right. no question about it. So. Now, I don't think you can go wrong with anything here at Sheets, but uh, I got to say that popcorn chicken is something special. You know what I mean? That stuff Absolutely. is on point. Now what we found here is new Dr. Pepper and Cheerwine floats. Cheerwine up here in Pennsylvania. And mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go ahead and try and order that. Look at this. Great we selection here. Um, we just have to, yes, more time, definitely. We just need to find out where it is on this little touchscreen thing so that I can indulge in one of these Cheerwine floats. So I didn't get the popcorn chicken this time. I got the Boss Spicy Chicken Sandwich. So, the Boss Spicy Chicken Sandwich? Yes, no. yes Wow. I'm I, I don't imagine you can go wrong with anything here at Sheets, like I said before. Right, right. But uh, I did stick with the traditional buffalo popcorn chicken tossed in the buffalo sauce, and I am excited about this Cheerwine float. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to try this thing Definitely out. Have to try that, that is going to be amazing. I, I just have no doubt about it. No hesitation when I, you know, encourage Linda to push that button ordering that float for me. So here we got the Sheets bulletin board. And uh, what do we have in the middle there? Ah, Virginia Paranormal Investigations. Wow, I'll have to check them out. And nothing says America like a Sheets coffee mug. Right. Uh, graced with the American flag. Yes. And the Sheets logo at the bottom of it. Near the 4th of July. That's right. A little past it. Yeah. Nonetheless, still America. Right. Okay, so the moment I have waited for, the Cheerwine float sits right here on the counter. I'm going to insert straw. You can see the Cheerwine down the bottom, the ice cream on top. Looks like a mixture of strawberry or cherry up in there. I imagine it's cherry. Um, but who knows? And whipped cream on the top. Uh, 
Oh man, this is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say, Cheerwine, born in the South, raised in a glass, and now in the form of a float here at Sheets. Now you're uh, taking a sip of that Cheerwine float there. Yes, I am. Yeah. Mm, that's good. That's really, really good. Yes. I love amazing. that. Amazing. All right, what do you got there? I have this uh, sandwich, and I forget what they called it, the Boss uh, mm -hmm. Chicken Sandwich. And uh, as you can see, it's got the um, onions. It's got some sort of a sauce on it. It's got bacon, lettuce, uh, cheese, chicken oh, patty. Man. It looks amazing. Yeah. I'm going to sample this buffalo popcorn chicken. And uh, as you can see, it's got the buffalo sauce. It's tossed in it steam coming off it not sure if it's picking that up on the video but it looks slightly amazing let's see if it's as good up here as it is south of the mason dixon line i do have to say uh the popcorn chicken up here was very good. The appetizer sampler was very, very good. Every bit as good as it is at the sheets down there in Chester, Virginia, uh, Tappahannock, Virginia, the various Absolutely. sheets that we often stop at down there. Yeah. Very good. So if you're traveling up to Gettysburg via Route 30, short stop off the exit, we'll uh, bring you to sheets, Turkey Hill right across the street. Yeah. And a beautiful landscaping of very green yes. cornfields right. um, which is awesome beautiful, beautiful area so we're gonna have to get back on the road to Gettysburg um, so we can get up there before the park closes <laughs>